Hey everyone, this is Lisa from the Rhinestone World. In this video, we're gonna do a fun project on how we can take wrapping paper that doesn't necessarily work for wrapping and convert it over to a sign. So I'm gonna talk about how to make your font stand out on a busy pattern and how we can apply it using our new FDC gridded transfer tape. Here I am in Silhouette Studio. So what I'm going to be doing is I need to set up the design for this uh, poster very carefully. Uh, there's a lot of colors, there's a lot of patterns on it. So I need to do a couple things to kind of make sure what I'm doing actually works. So over here, I took a picture of my uh, little frame and brought it in. So you can see it's just a super rough draft. You know, there's a glare in it. I actually took it a little bit crooked. Um, this is not meant for like a mock-up for a customer or anything like that. This is kind of give, to give me an idea of how I want my design to look on there. So what I'm going for is that I have this fun, bright pattern in the background, and I'm gonna have my text contrast and be you know, a little bit classic, um, kind of fancy looking. So first thing I need to do is type out my font, or type out my text. So I'll do let's, and then I'm going to take my cursor, grab everything in there, and now I'm gonna open up my text panel and choose a font. So I obviously tried out what I wanted before then. So over here I have my recently used and I have this font, um, it's a doki. I'm not sure how to say it, but I like that font. And then there's different styles to it. So we're gonna go right here and then just kind of bring this down and it's, it's a doki 01. So let's go over here and uh, let me stretch this out for you to see. And then I'm also going to kind of fill this in. I'm gonna be doing this in like a gold color Obviously this is not exactly gold, uh, but we're working towards it. So we have this over here, and now I wanna do a separate text box, and I want to have the same point size and also the same font and color for that. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do a duplicate of my first word. So hold down the Alt button, and your mouse turns into a plus sign. We'll click and drag, and now I have an exact copy. So I can double click on this, that'll open up that green box, which means I'm in text edit mode. And I'm gonna do control A on my keyboard to select all. So I'm selecting everything in that text box so I can quickly change my text. And so I'm gonna do something cute. I'm gonna have it say potty, like party, but with pause, you know, so cute. So we have this set all over here. I'm gonna set this up the way I like it and then grab both of my sets of text. I'm gonna use my quick access toolbar at the top to align it in the middle. And then I have it pretty good. I guess pretty well with that. So we're gonna bring this over here. And now that I'm happy with this text, what I wanna do is I wanna change it from it being a uh, text to an object. And so I'm gonna tell Silhouette, hey, all these lines are working together to make one object. So I'm gonna right click and make compound path. So now I have this all together. If I double click, you see my points. I'll be in point edit mode and I'm all set with that. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna make my text a little bit lighter. And then I'm also gonna go right here to this box and turn off my line color to make it a little bit easier to see. So you can see we have our text like this. Now, of course, there's a couple things we need to look out for. First of all, you know, this is not to scale. We're kind of trying this out. Oops, I hit my keyboard. And then also it's a little hard to read this. So we wanna do some adjustments to our text here to make it easier to read. So let's bring this over here. And I wanna do what's called an offset around my text. Um, an offset is your best friend when you want to press or apply vinyl to something that has a pattern, kind of like my shirt. Um, it defines your space and helps define what you're pressing. So let's go over here and I'm gonna go over to my offset panel. This is this little star here. And let's choose offset. And now you can see a line is around my shape. Um, it's a little bit big, so we're gonna go over here and put a distance of 0.08. I'm gonna hit enter on my keyboard to preview it. So you can see it's pretty good. I don't mind it at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that and hit apply. So now because all the lines my offset weren't exactly touching, they're not grouped together. So my offset is still selected. So I'm just gonna go over here, do control E on my keyboard. And now you can see this whole thing is selected. So we have this all set. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in white. And then you don't see a difference because it's on a white background. But then I can bring this back over and now we have our little design here. Check that out. So we have this all set. So now what we need to do is we need to actually set this up to scale. 
Um, this I shrunk down for my design, but you can see that my design is probably going to be closer to about two feet wide. Um, this is a 24 inch frame. So let's select our design here. I'm going to go over to my scale panel. I'm going to click this little button to lock it, and I'm going to set my width to 24 inches wide. Hit tab, it changes it to 18, and then I can hit enter. So now this is the scale of my sign. So I'm going to go over here. And I want to make sure I get both sets of text selected. So I drag my mouse, highlighted everything, and then just hold down shift and that'll deselect something. So now I have both selected. I'm going to kind of just use my tool to scale this up and kind of find out the placement that I like. I don't want it too big on my sign. I just want it to be kind of subtle, kind of cute. Okay. So now I'm happy with this. So really I can get rid of my sign here. And now we have a couple things going on right here. Um, our design is wider than our cutting space. So let's go ahead and let's rotate it. So I'm gonna find highlight both, grab these. I'm gonna hold down shift and click on this green dot here. This green dot helps rotate it. And if you hold down shift, it'll rotate in 45 degree increments. So if I hold down shift and turn it, it'll snap in place straight up and down. I don't have to guess. So I just unclick, I release my mouse and then let go of shift. So here's another problem. I have it set up to a cutting mat right now. So this red line that's around my workspace, this is my safe cutting area. And because I have a mat selected, my safe cutting area goes down here. So if I were to cut this right now, it's gonna stop in the middle of my design. So I need to tell Silhouette Studio, hey, I'm not using a cutting mat, and also I'm cutting a little bit longer. So let's go over here to our page setup panel right here in the top. And you can see here's our page setup. So we're gonna go ahead and set our height a little bit taller. We're gonna set it about 24 inches tall. So you can see my material is longer, but I still have that red line there. And that's because we've told Silhouette that there's a cutting mat. So let's go over here, go to cutting mat, and turn off. So now we have our whole design set up like this, okay? So we have the first part done. Now I'm just gonna do some things to make cutting easier on myself and how to line this up. So I'm gonna be layering gold glitter vinyl right on top of white vinyl. So I need to find a way to anchor my design to make it um, line up correctly. And that's where registration marks come into play. So I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna draw a little square above my shape here. And then I just wanna make a copy. So I'm gonna hold down Alt, bring this down. And now I'm just gonna align them. I'm a little picky about that. So I'm just gonna make sure they're aligned and we're all set there. Oops, I accidentally clicked off of it. Hover over, line center, and then we're all good there. So now we have these squares here, and then I always like to draw a square around my design, a nice little weed box. So I'll go over here, set it like this. And so one thing that you wanna keep in mind is you wanna keep in mind and have this box be a different color than my design in here. So even though it looks like I have white boxes, they're actually with no fill, and this one does have a white fill. So now we're gonna go over and we're gonna set up to cut. So we have our design all set, and now we're going to send a cutter. Now we want to cut one color at a time. We don't actually want to cut both of these. So let's go over here and we're going to go to action by, and we're going to do fill. So now our design is going to be separated by the color of fill we have. So right here is pattern. That's actually the picture I have on the side. Let's take that off. And now you can see I have my gold, my no color, and white. So my white is actually the border, so I'm gonna take away my offset, and I'm gonna make sure I have no color selected. So no color are your boxes, your registration marks, and your box around it. You always wanna make sure to cut that. And so right here, you can see my material is set to something else. I'm cutting this on FDC decal vinyl, so I'm just gonna click this little arrow and change the setting for that color. So just make sure each color has the right cut setting on it. A lot of times we'll change one and not like the box around it. And so we can cut through our carrier a lot and that's not what we want. So let's go over here, let's set this to FDC. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my last one to FDC before I cut. So now I have these all set. I'm all ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead, load my first color, cut this. And then after my first color is cut, I'll be all done. All I have to do is uncheck this gold and then check this white down here and then I'm ready to cut. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we will weed and layer. So here are my two colors. 
This is my bottom layer, my offset, and this is my top in the FDC Gold. Both of these are part of the FDC line. This is the 4200, and then this is the 3700, which is glitter. So I'm gonna use our brand new FDC transfer tape. So this is the gridded transfer tape. Um, it's really nice for a couple reasons. One, it has a paper backing, which means it can be sold by the foot. And two, because we have this grid, it's really easy to see where we need to cut our material. And we can save as much as we can of this tape as possible. We don't have to worry about, you know, cutting too much or too little, anything like that. So right here, I'm just lifting it up. I can see my design ends around here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut down this line. Um, these little pieces are still really beneficial. I can still use these pieces for my scrap vinyl and all that fun stuff, so I'm not gonna get rid of that. And the great thing is I have very little waste with this. I know with some um, transfer tapes, you can kind of like um, put it back on the roll. I don't super love doing that. For me, I think it just falls off easily. I don't think it's effective for what I do. So it's pretty cool that you can keep it on the paper backing so that way these little strips don't get wasted at all. So now we have this all set. And what I need to do now is I need to go ahead and layer this vinyl. So with that, um, what you can do is you can take it and with vinyl like this, your smaller color or your top color will get the tape first because we're gonna use a hinge to anchor it down. So let's move this out of the way. And now we can go ahead and start putting down our tape. So let's peel up our tape from our backing. And so you can see right here. And one thing that I will say about this new tape is it is kind of staticky. So just be really careful when you have this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of apply it like this so I don't have too much go down. And it already, it already kind of like static clung to my vinyl. So let's just go through like this. Now go ahead and apply it. So it's a little bit bumpy. Um, when you apply it, I would just do a smaller section at a time. But I'm just gonna smooth this out with my scraper. And we'll be able to correct all of that once we apply it. All right, so we have our tape down on here. And this is our first color. So this is going to be layered on top of this one. And so we don't wanna put down too much tape at first because we don't want it to stick to our actual design. So what we're gonna do is we wanna peel off the paper backing where these squares are. So you notice I made those registration marks. That is what we use to line up our design. That is how we layer it easily. So I peeled back my paper from here. I'm just gonna use my scissors to cut that away. Let's cut that. So now if you look at it, we have our little squares that are gonna layer right on top of here. So let's go ahead, let's find our squares on here. And the great thing about this tape is it's really clear. So it's easy to see where you need to set it up. So I'm just like kind of hovering it on top of the squares. I didn't actually put it down until just now. So now we have our squares lined up, which means the rest of our design will line up. So I'm just flipping this over and I'm peeling my paper off of my design. So I had a little bit of my design that kind of was off the transfer tape. So I'm just gently holding it down and peeling my paper up. Now, if you have a hard time peeling your vinyl up off of your paper, uh, just do a quick inspection. A lot of times you can technically cut your vinyl a little bit too deep, which means it kind of hinges or seals your vinyl into the paper a bit. So just make sure your cuts aren't too deep, but you know, not deep enough to go through the paper. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this back down. And now we have our design all set up on our bottom layer. We're gonna set this up. I'm gonna flip this back over. Use our burnisher to apply it, and then we'll be ready to put it on our sign. So here is my decal. I'm gonna be placing it on my sign. So just be careful when you do this. Um, 
Again, the transfer tape can be a little bit staticky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut off these registration marks as well. I don't need them. <laughs> you don't need to apply it to your sign. So we're just gonna cut that right off. So now we have this set right here. So there's a couple ways you can apply this. Um, when I do a big decal like this, I like to use what's called the hinge method. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically like tape down our decal where we want it to be with the paper on it. And then we're gonna kind of use it as a hinge when we apply it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna take a piece of tape, and this is just basic washi craft tape. I like using this tape because it's, you know, got a little bit of a lower tack, but it's really nice for what we're doing. It keeps it steady, but it doesn't damage or super stick. So let's go right here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel off our transfer tape from this side. We're gonna kind of go like this. So check this out. We have the sticky side exposed. And I'm just gonna take my scissors and just kind of cut down here. So now we can take our tape, flip this over, and now we just need to use our little burnishing tool Smooth that on there. And now we can basically take off our tape because this tape is holding it down. And now we can kind of just flip this over, peel off this paper backing, and then just be careful with these little pieces, kind of this little guy got caught up here. And now you can just smooth that down and apply it. We have this all smooth. So now I can go over here and just remove my transfer tape. And sometimes what I like to do is I like to take the paper backing and hold it on top and just use that to kind of smooth this out one more time. All right, so now we have our sign set up. This was using our FDC decal vinyl and basically we found a use for wrapping paper that didn't super work and we used our FDC glitter and FDC 4200 and magenta. So we were able to create this offset that kind of separates the colors and makes it easier to read. So if you have any questions, you can email us at info at the or comment below. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like to see more videos with the Silhouette Cameo, click here. And don't forget to like and comment.